Hey Gemini's, thank you guys for tuning in to your reading. This is going to be for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Also check your Jupiter, your North Node, um, any, other, any other significant placements in your chart. Okay, if you need help reading your chart, you can always email me. You can also email me um, about personal readings as well. I also have a numerology reading in the description box. Check the description box, you guys for information on readings all right keep in mind it won't resonate with every single gemini that watches and that's okay all right take what resonates and leave the rest all right and again i always appreciate y'all watching okay hit that like hit that subscribe if this resonates with you okay all right so let's see what we have here gems we have judgments. So I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Okay. So um, have you guys have been really hard on yourself or have you been hard on others um, regarding a situation or really anything in general, um, anything in life, Gemini's? We'll get deeper and see what's going on. We have guilt. Okay, and it says, I relief any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul growth. So with seeing guilt after judgment, I feel like some of you guys may need to um, forgive yourself for something. Okay, forgive yourself for your past mistakes. Okay, we all make them. Um, you aren't defined by your mistakes, uh, Gemini. Okay, empathy. And it says, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I mean, come on, Gemini's are known for this. We're known to see both sides of a situation, all right? Um, this could also be saying, have empathy for yourself, okay? So, you know, if you've made mistakes and you, you're having a hard time forgiving yourself for them, have some type of empathy for yourself. It's easy to have empathy for others. And it seems to be harder to have empathy for yourself, Okay. And then you have purpose. I love to see it. Y'all have to excuse me because I, <laughs> I be trying to have it perfect in front of the camera because, you know. And it says, I know what I am here to do. Yes. Purpose, 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 Gemini. So some of you guys might be um, coming into your purpose. Some of you guys might be using some of this guilt and some of this judgment to help other people, okay? Um, I actually like to see that. I like that energy. What's on the bottom? It says surrender and I can release my need to control. Yeah. Some of you guys need to surrender to the universe, okay? To God or whatever it is that you believe in, uh, Gemini's, okay? I am loving this energy so far, okay? I feel like some of you guys are releasing guilt, you're releasing judgment, and you're uh, on your way to um, upgrading in your spiritual journey. Ooh, the Ten of Wands pops out. Hmm. What, what is that about, Gemini? Ooh. Oh. No! <laughs> All right, so... I'm not taking all these, but I will take the devil since it was on the top. <sighs> Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Some of you guys are holding on to something that you need to let go of. Or you are in the process of that. Um, some of you guys are having some type of control issues too. I'm picking up on that as well. Um, Gemini. The Ace of Swords. I love how that just flew out. Yeah, some of you guys are, are needing to gain some type of mental clarity. Or you are gaining some mental clarity um, on a particular situation. Um, Gemini. Oh, man. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. The Eight of Pentacles. The High Priestess. And the Sun. Okay. All right, Gemini's. I feel like um, 
there's going to be some toxic habits that you have. It could be this guilt for a lot of you um, or the judgment. There's, I feel like there's going to be some toxic habits that you have that are going to come to light. And you're going to be able to heal them. Okay? You're going to be able to work on them. So you can be a, the best you possible. You're going to um, gain... Um, you're, you're going to get a higher rank in the spiritual realm once you figure out what this devil energy is and I feel like a lot of you are a lot of you are the devil doesn't necessarily have to be um, like a toxic person in your life it, although it could be the devil can be about addictions it can be about control it can be about manipulation even if it's to yourself Gemini do you have thoughts um, with it coming out to the next to the ace of swords do you have thought patterns that aren't serving you are you paying attention to your thoughts because some of you guys might be weighed down with um with feeling guilty about something or with thoughts that aren't serving you some of you guys gotta really really sit down with yourself with this with this eight of pentacles here and um Study what you're thinking about yourself. Okay? Really sit and think about and study the thoughts that you have about yourself because your thoughts become things. Y'all know that, Geminis. Why is this ten, ten of Wands here? Spirit. Thoughts become things, and I feel like for a lot of you guys, um, you're learning that. this ten of wands here oh is it something family related with this ten of pentacles coming out two tens is is completion so for a lot of you this is completed you guys are completing some type of cycle that's the vibe that i get when i see two tens okay um why is this still weird this could be a family some of you guys may have a family situation that you feel guilty about that's been burdening you you may have a family situation that um that happened that you haven't gotten over you may be on a spiritual journey and your fear and you fear being judged by those close to you um gemini's there's some fear here you may fear being judged if you decide to take that spiritual journey some of you guys might want to start doing you know spiritual work spiritual consulting um tarot something along the lines of that and you're afraid of what your family might think about it spirit clarify the devil for gemini's the ace of pentacles could be something money related it could be um you are getting rid of thoughts um regarding money you may have a fear of losing money or losing what you have uh gemini's because of how you grew up this can also be you just fear um losing some type of stability because of your spiritual journey uh gems with the hermits on the bottom of the deck, yeah. Some of you guys may fear losing out on something that is uh, stable for you. Could be a job for a lot of you. You might be wondering if, if your job is going to start looking at you differently. People at work. You're not seeing things the same as you once did. I feel like a lot of you guys are becoming enlightened. This is very heavy, heavy, enlightened energy here. Heavy, enlightened energy. You're becoming enlightened. And since it's, since I put it here under the purpose card, I feel like you, you're becoming enlightened of what your purpose is. And it may not be what you're doing right now. You may outgrow some friends and family. Okay? You may outgrow a lover with the two of cups on the bottom of the deck. Because of your spiritual journey. Okay. Why is this Ace of Swords here? Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> the Six of Wands. Yeah. Once you guys... Y'all have to excuse the alarm outside. Okay. Once you guys come into your... Um, your purpose you're you're gonna thrive Gemini's you're gonna thrive this is the energy that you're gonna be in okay the magicians on the bottom yes uh, yes I love this energy gems once you once you get out of feeling like you have to please other people because this is also the ten of wands energy and clarified by the ten of Pinnacles. I feel like a lot of you guys are afraid of being judged. You spent your entire life doing what other people think you should do. And Spirit is telling you, you it's time for you to get out of that because you will be successful. Okay? But there might be a lot of fear with that. There's a lot of fear tied behind you doing something that you love. You following your purpose and not doing what other people want you to do anymore. Okay, and again, you might lose some people because of it, because you're not doing what, what they want or what they think is normal. Ah, car is trying to go everywhere. So the eight of pentacles is on the bottom of this deck. As I'm trying to clarify the Eight of Pentacles, I see the Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys might be looking into come, becoming, like I said, spiritual consultants, life coaches. Some of you guys might be going to school to become a therapist. Because I always think of therapy when I see this card. You know what I mean? Because you see how she's sitting and she kind of looks like she's, um, you know, a therapist. Let's see what come, came out. I'm not going to take all these cards. But the sun came out again. So... Oh, yes, the full Gemini is clarifying the eight of pentacles. Yeah, take that leap. Take that leap. And if you look at both of these cards, her arms are out on both of these cards. This, this person is free. Once you embrace who you are and you embrace your purpose, you're going to have it's it's freeing. It's freeing to embrace who you are. Okay. Instead of pretending to be someone else to please other people. All right. And we see the magician again on the bottom of the deck. This is you. This 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 is you. You're this magician here. Don't try to act like you're someone else or somebody else because other people think that you should do something a certain way or other people don't get it. Right. Only thing that matters is that you get it. Oh, ooh, the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, guys. All right, so I'm going to say um, when I see the High Priestess in the Queen of Pentacles, I don't want to scare anyone, okay? I'm just going to say what I think of. I always think of witchcraft when I see these two cards together. So some of you guys might be into witchcraft i'm not saying that it's that's necessarily a bad thing okay I'm not saying that it's necessarily a bad thing but um i feel like you are into magic you're into um using your mind and your intuition to create material things that's what magic is guys all right and everybody does magic whether people want to want to um admit that or not everybody does it okay when you pray when you do affirmations when you um when you eat black eyed peas on new year's <laughs> you guys that's casting spells regardless of how anybody wants to look at it regardless of how anybody feels about it it's not a bad thing okay i feel like a lot of you guys are learning how to use your mind and your spirituality to get um, material wealth, okay, things in the material. Take it how it resonates, okay? Because people people get spooked out when you when you mention witches or when you mention uh, when you mention um, witchcraft or whatever the case may be. None of this stuff is necessarily bad, 
It's how you use it that makes it bad. Okay? So if you're using it if you're using it for fuckery or if you're using it for bad, then yeah, it's gonna be bad. Okay? But if you're using it to help yourself or help others, with their permission, of course, then it's not a bad thing, Gemini's. Okay? Like I said, some of you guys are gonna be using your spiritual gifts to um bring material things into the world and it could also be for other people so clarifying the sun i see the sun on the bottom of the deck i'm trying to tell you guys and she is also with her arms out like this i'm telling y'all it's freeing once you tap into who you are okay some of you guys are just extremely spiritual okay some of you guys may have even may, it may have even called you um weird or a witch or whatever a wizard or whatever the case may be you know yeah it's extremely freeing when you are being yourself get out of um the bind you're not really binded yeah the four swords clarifying the sun i'm going to clarify that with, with the page of cups on the bottom yeah, some of you guys have a really great imagination, but it, it might be time to get out of this imagination and actually start doing it, if that makes sense. The four source can also be you guys, you know, needing to rest a little bit because I'm, I'm getting rest vibes from both of these cards. Some of you guys might be working too hard and too much. Okay, and I feel like for some of you, you might be trying to keep up appearances as well. But um, Spirit is saying you don't need to do that. You don't need to keep up appearances with anybody. Just be yourself. Tap into your own divinity, Geminis, without fear. Don't have fear about who you are. Okay? And definitely stop trying to be what other people think that you should be. Because other people are too afraid to step out on a limb and to be themselves. Okay? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Some of you guys might be stressed out because you're not doing what it is that you can feel you should be doing. You can feel you're supposed to be doing something else, okay? And you're not doing it. And so it's causing stress for you, okay? King of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I'm trying to tell you there's going to be a lot of material um wealth for you but this that could also be standing solid in your truth and being authentic yeah king of swords comes out next to the ace of swords and the six of wands absolutely i love this you're gonna have to stand firm in what it is that you're doing period okay don't let anyone come in and and uh change that i feel like a lot of you too a lot of you guys are also wise beyond your years because if you look at this card there's an owl there you see that owl and the sirens confirm <laughs> you see that owl there that's the uh, an, the owl represents wisdom guys the crow represents transformation you guys what is that? I've never noticed that um, thing on top of the crow there. Lots of cards. Lots of stuff I've never noticed in this card. Yeah. Wisdom. I'm seeing nothing but wisdom here in this card. Transformation. Y'all have to excuse me again. <laughs> Transformation. <laughs> and the owl on the bottom. Wisdom. And like I said, a lot of you guys may have, may have heard that you're wise beyond your ears. It's all coming to light. The Empress on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. The Nine of Wands. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are going to have to stand up for... Going to have to stand up for yourself. Because I feel like it's not going to be um, easy for a lot of you to transition into this this new spiritual body or this new spiritual journey 
okay spiritual awakenings can be tough you guys they can be really hard because everyone's not going to be supportive of it okay it can be very lonely too um when you when you're going through a particular um journey if you see it in most of the cards the person is by themselves except for the ten of pentacles here but most of the cards is only one person in the card i feel like a lot of you guys might be you might feel alone um but you don't have to you know you can reach out to other people that are going through the same things that you're going through gemini experiencing a lot of the things that you're experiencing that was one of the main reasons why I started the YouTube and why I started doing personals with people because a lot of people don't have that um, that support when they're going through a spiritual journey because I know I didn't have that you know what I mean I kind of had to do it on my own and it's not easy to do you guys it's easy to fall in like into a depression um, having anxiety issues not really knowing what to do not you know know where to turn because you feel like nobody really understands oh yeah the knight of swords i always love this energy and again there is a black bird in this one as well okay i feel like you guys are coming into um coming into yourself if that makes sense some someone's coming into um their being authentic and really being themselves despite what other people think and for a lot of you you might be getting a lot of pushback um especially if you are like in the corporate world you know what i mean some of you guys might be moving from the corporate world to the spiritual world. Or, you know, you're going to stay in the corporate world and try to balance that out with being spiritual too. Okay? But for a lot of you, you you may feel out of place where you are because you know that you should be doing more with this purpose card here. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Yeah. Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys might be might need to be teachers, spiritual teachers. Um, like I said, tarot, anything along the lines of that. Some of you guys might need to explore, explore other avenues of um, who you are. Be who you are, uh, Gemini's. No matter what. Because I feel like for a lot of you, you may feel like you can't be who you are around certain people. And then that's when it comes in that you may have to get rid of some people. And that's just the bottom line. <laughs> I know it's it's it'll be hard for some people. And speaking for myself, um, yeah, the Three of Wands and the Six of Cups. Yeah. I'm going to clarify those. The King of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, for some of you, you... You may feel like you don't know where to turn. Why is the Six of Cups here, Spirit? Oh, I was saying, speaking for myself, I pretty much had to figure things out on my own. Yeah. The Eight of Swords. Did this come out already? No, it didn't. The Eight of Swords, guys. Yeah. You're in your head about something in the past. And it could be, you may have tried this spiritual stuff in the past and got backlash from it. And now you may be afraid to try it again or do it again because you're afraid of losing people you're afraid of losing oh wow the knight of swords yeah listen 
Some of you guys may have help coming in. You may have a mentor coming in. Gemini's. You may have someone that can help. That can help you. The Fool again. Yes. Could be an Aries for some of you. Page of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. Every time I see these types of cards I, with, with the arms out like this. <laughs> Lots of joyful energy here. And I feel like it's because you guys really need to um, be true to you, Geminis. Without caring what other people think. Without being stressed about what other people think. Do what, do what works for you. Because you have to live your life. Nobody else can live your life for you, Geminis. Okay, so if spiritual work is what you want to do, go for it. Even though some people may not understand. Okay, I went to do the same exact thing when I when I first started doing tarot. I wasn't sure how people would take it or what people would think or whatever the case may be. Now I could care less what people think or what people say. You know, it's a process. Oh, I said this. A mentor will be beneficial. <laughs> I told y'all. I told y'all. The sky is the limit. Yeah. Like, legit. Y'all can do anything you want. Anything you want, you can have, Geminis. Period. You can have anything that you want. Once you stop, to care, you stop caring what other people think about what you're doing. Okay? Don't try to seek approval from other people. Don't feel guilty about choosing yourself over other people. All right? Because trust and believe, a lot of people don't feel guilty, feel guilty about doing them. So don't feel bad about doing you. Always choose yourself. Just get started, Geminis. Just start. Just do it. Don't overthink it. Just do it. Do what comes natural to you. Didn't I say that? Some of you guys, okay, listen. If you can, really, really study yourself and really, really study your thoughts. Also, think about anything that anyone has ever told you in your life that you're good at. So think about, how can I put it? What is something that people always come to you for? Is it advice? Is it cooking like are you a good cook people come to you and say hey cook me blah 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 you know what i mean think of something that people always come to you for that's going to be one of your natural talents because a lot of times we overlook our talents you have talents that you may not even realize that you have find something that you're naturally good at and then ride on ride that wave do that Stop penny pinching. <laughs> Y'all seem to always get this energy here. Hold on, y'all. My phone is ringing and I'm trying to record. All right, let me pull a couple more. It's up and it's stuck. Yeah. I feel like for a lot of you, you are headed towards the right direction. And this may not even be material for a lot of you. Some of you guys really just need to be free mentally. You need to be free from judgment of yourself. You need to be free from guilt. And I feel like once you start really being honest with yourself, you're going to see a huge difference. Self-honesty. Don't be afraid to ask for help, Geminis. Okay? So if you need help, don't be afraid to reach out. Okay? Even if you have to pay. Like, you, learn how to invest where, where it matters. Okay? Learn to invest where it matters. All right? And sometimes, you know, your spiritual journey need, needs 
investment just like anything else in your life you will be receiving more recognition yeah i said i i told you guys that definitely and it doesn't even have to be like on a grand scale you know what i mean but yeah once you start you're going to draw people to you positive and negative you're going to draw people to you when you start living your true self when you start being authentic, you're going to draw people to you. And it's going to be people that are either going to love you or people going to hate you. Because you're doing what they're afraid to do. You know what I mean? Pull a couple more and then I'm going to wrap this up. Enjoy the journey route while reaching the destination. Yeah. Always enjoy the journey, guys. Because the destination changes. The journey never changes, guys. And I think, I feel like we overlook the journey. We overlook the day-to-day -day things that it takes to get us to where we want to go. Because we're so focused on getting to where we want to be. We overlook the little things, the little steps that come with getting to where you want to be. Okay? So don't overlook that. Enjoy the journey. Enjoy every single tiny step not just the big steps because the little ones add up to big steps all about the money by ti a couple more and appreciate the little things i just i literally just told y'all this <laughs> appreciate the little things uh gemini's okay Protect your vision. Yeah, I, I said that you guys are going to have to do that. You're going to have to protect your vision because people are going to come for you, especially because they're they're going to they're going to project their own fears onto you. Abundance is coming in. Yeah. All right, gems. So I hope this helped. All right, this was a little longer than I thought, but I hope this helps you, Gemini's. Again, I appreciate y'all watching. Hit that like, hit that subscribe if it resonated with you. Um, yeah, until next time, y'all. Peace out.